Season 2 is next. Season 2? Yes, the news has come through this week. Doctor Who Season 2 will be the next Blu-ray box set in the collection series. Let's talk in this video about why this is gigantic news, which serials we're most excited about and which special features we're most excited about and how we feel about the artwork. And at the end, I'm going to single out one of these serials of Season 2 as the one that I am most excited about and then I want you to get down in comments and tell me what you're most excited about. This is gigantic news precisely because not only is this the first ever first Doctor season to go onto Blu-ray as part of the collection series, but it's the first season from the black and white era of Doctor Who. The lowest season number we've had prior to this announcement is of course season 8, which was John Pertwee's second season, and now we get William Hartnell's second season as the Doctor. I think most of us just assumed that all of these low numbered seasons would come later on in the collection run, and I'm sure most of them will, but it's really good that the team have decided to go for it and put season 2 together, and with no small number of special features either. It looks like a really special package. Okay, first of all, let's just go through the serials of season two, which starts with Planet of Giants. A pretty ambitious story for Doctor Who to tell in its second season, requiring quite a few special effects. It's a fun story though, three parts. And I can remember looking through a Doctor Who program guide when I was a kid and seeing it had three parts and thinking, how cool is that? Three parts. I was watching Tom Baker, who always had four part stories or six part stories, nothing in between, apart from the Sontaran experiment, but that was before my time. And so to look back through the program guide and see that Hartnell stories like this had weird numbers of episodes was so cool. After Planet of the Giants comes the Dalek invasion of Earth. Now, of course, this story feels kind of familiar at the moment and quite, you know, topical, doesn't it? Because this is the TV serial that would very much inspire the amicus Peter Cushing movie, Dalek's Invasion Earth 2150 AD. And what an epic story this is. This has got one of my favorite moments in Doctor Who ever, when the Dalek goes, we are the masters of Earth. His voice sounds just so evil and raspy and malevolent. Absolutely love that moment. That's probably my favourite Dalek moment of all time, I guess. Next up, it is The Rescue and The Romans. And we're very lucky that The Romans is one of those uh, classic Doctor Who historicals that exists in full. So I think that's something to be grateful for, isn't it? The Rescue is, of course, a two-parter. Now, I must confess that I've never really been very much into the historicals, you know, Doctor Who's pure early historicals. They always seem just too dry for my liking. I need a bit of sci-fi uh, blending in there, a bit like uh, The Visitation or something like that makes the historicals more interesting to me. But of course, you know, the, the Romans and a certain story that we're about to come to is, is very well loved in Doctor Who circles. Love the web planet. Absolutely. So much fun. Again, ridiculously ambitious. Loads of insect costumes, creating a whole alien landscape. It's just quite remarkable. Both of these stories, by the way, are six-parters. There's a lot of episodes and serials on this. There are nine serials and a total of 37 episodes. That is a jam-packed Doctor Who Blu-ray set. Next up on the box set will be The Crusade. Obviously, I'm not holding up The Crusade here, but Lost in Time, which is a collection of orphaned episodes from the Doctor Who classic era. And this contains uh, The Crusade episodes one and three. The Crusade was, of course, a four-part story, and parts two and four are sadly missing. And a lot of fans have expressed their sadness that this release seems to suggest that the Crusade will never have an animated version. And while that might be true, I stress the word might because never say never in Doctor Who. In a few years, the money may well be there to create an animated version of episodes two and four. So let's not give up hope on that. And in the meantime, it seems that we'll be getting the best version of the Crusade that we've had yet. So that's pretty cool. Next up in the box set, my God, this is a long box set, isn't it? We're used to having box sets with about, you know, five or six serials in them. Space Museum and The Chase. Now, the Space Museum isn't very highly regarded, really, but I rather like it. I think it's got a really neat idea, quite a sort of Stephen Moffat-y type idea, really, involving time, travel, and the like. And then we have the epic Dalek story, The Chase. These were once released in a DVD box set together. Very nice. The Chase is, of course, another six-parter. What an epic. And then rounding out the whole season is a, a real classic Doctor Who story and very well regarded. The Time Meddler. The Doctor, Vicky and Stephen come up against the meddling monk played by Peter Butterworth. Four episodes this one and a great conclusion to the season. So that's a great selection of stories, isn't it? That's pretty, pretty special. Or as Larry David might say, pretty, pretty, pretty good, pretty good. 
Now let's have a look at the artwork. I know just from having glanced pretty much at the cover that Lee Binding, the artist behind all the collection covers, has once again done us proud. And I think my favourite thing about this front cover is the impish expression on the face of William Hartnell. I know I've got no idea. Can someone tell me in comments where this picture's from? But it's a great image, isn't it? I mean, this is the first Doctor. This never looks better in a still image, as far as I can tell. It's just, it's great to see him in colour. It's, it's lovely to see the first Doctor in colour, isn't it, for one thing. It looks great with his, uh, his little spyglass there. Very nice, and his lovely ring. It just looks great. And once again, the colours are just gorgeous. The colours are just one of the real triumphs of these collection set covers. Now, I'm going to zoom in to have a look at the foes, the assembled foes. So, starting from the top left, a Monoptera. Always nice to see a Monoptera, isn't it, in the morning? Or whenever you happen to be watching this video. Now, next along here, we have Coquillian. There's a great name for a Doctor Who character, Coquillian. They had great names back there in the day. Now, this character down here with the gun, I must confess that I don't know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing with this channel. I'm not going to pretend to have an encyclopedic knowledge of everything. I'm all about the love of Doctor Who and the love of horror and the passion for it all. So sometimes I'm going to say things like, please get down in comments and tell me who this guy with the gun is. I seem to remember he's from the Space Museum, right? So uh, let me know there. And we have a Zabi down here. This is the first time we've had two characters from one story on a, a collection set cover. I think it might be Zabi and Monoptera. Zabi and Monoptera. I think Lee just couldn't resist. He couldn't choose, could he? He like picked, he got out a coin and tossed it in the air and that each time it came down, he still wanted to have the other one, didn't he? Yeah, and so in the end, he just said, oh, screw it, let's just have both. Now, I'm not sure who this frontmost character is with this eye stalk and the gun and stuff. Can you tell me this um, sort of pepper pot shaped individual here? <laughs> No, I do know who this is. Lovely. And then next along we have Richard the Lionheart as played by the mighty Julian Glover, who was also in City of Death, of course, and no doubt probably at least one other Doctor Who story that escapes me. But yeah, this is Richard the Lionheart from the Crusade. And then we have the monk as played by Peter Butterworth, the meddling monk to be precise. Not just any old monk, but a right old meddler. <laughs> I really love this cover. Let's have a quick look inside the package. We'll have a, a sneaky look at these discs. Oh, I can see a mechanoid on, on one of these discs. Look at that, cheeky bit of mechanoid fighting a Dalek. I love the mechanoids. I always loved the mechanoids from when I was a kid. I would draw the mechanoids. Ah, uh, yeah, now see this guy here. I'm assuming, yeah, this must be the Space Museum, I think. I'm not sure what this disc with Vicky on it is. And then we have the time meddler there. A nice picture of... Uh, our three TARDIS dwellers lost in the wilderness somewhere and a funny picture of the first Doctor in the web planet. That's an amusing one. The cover of the patch is the awesome image of the Dalek coming out of, uh, of the Thames and then the cover of this booklet is really something quite special. Yeah, it's a great kind of season spanning piece of work with some Zabi there and the Doctor looking very pensive. And of course we see here the five different companions that we have across the season. That's pretty amazing isn't it? Five different companions. Let's have a look at these discs here. I must admit they're not very monstery these discs. Long time viewers of this channel will know that I like my discs to have monsters on them. Basically I like to have everything with monsters on it. Humans are kind of boring aren't they? And yes I know the Doctor isn't a human. Don't at me. <laughs> That's really cool. That is really cool. I hope you don't mind me asking to like this video, to hit the thumbs up button if you are liking this video, because it really helps this channel reach new people. You can also help that process along by sharing this video and telling your friends about this channel. Thank you. Oh, and subscribe if you haven't already. My goodness me. Now, I'm a little bit late to the party this time. Uh, I'm recording this video the day after the news broke rather than a few days before the news breaks as I normally do because this news has landed at a rather difficult time for me with illness in the family. But nevertheless, I, I'm, I think you already know the special features, don't you? You've already been through the whole list. So what I'm gonna do is kind of skim over them a bit and talk about what I think are the most exciting special features. So let's do that. My favorite thing about these box sets tends to be the documentaries. I always want a new making of, a new angle, a new documentary about, about the time that the box set inhabits. And there are three brand new documentaries, so I'm rather happy with that. There's one documentary called Flight Through Eternity, which is an overview of season two. Oh, I love an overview me. How about you? Are you overly excited about overviews? I am. And then there's a look at 1960s collectibles in a documentary called Doctor Who and the Collectors. Now I'm particularly, uh, interested in that, that sounds really cool. And then there's Looking for David, which is Toby Haydock's series. And so this is a deep dive into the life and career of story editor David Whittaker. 
Great, yeah, David Whittaker, what a legend. There are some really nice looking feature length interviews with William Russell, who of course plays Ian, and Maureen O'Brien, who plays Vicky, by Matthew Sweet, who's a really good interviewer. Behind the Sofa is always a lot of fun, and it's a really great list of people doing the Behind the Sofas this time. This is the Gogglebox style thing that uh, the collection does. Maureen O'Brien, Peter Purvis, Carol Ann Ford, Janet Fielding, uh, Wendy Padbury, Sarah Sutton, Bonnie Langford, and Sophie Aldred. That's a really good selection of people. Um, no doctors, sadly, but you know, that's cool. It's, just, it's Obviously, it's such a shame that William Hartnell isn't still with us to sit on the sofa. Can you imagine? Can you imagine William Hartnell sitting on that sofa and just kind of trying to remember what he did back in the 60s? There's convention footage. I like a bit of convention footage. The Dalek Invasion of Earth has an optional enhanced soundtrack. I'm not sure what that means, but interesting. We'll check that out, won't we? What do you think about that? I don't think there are any up updated special effects on this box set, and I can kind of understand why. It might feel a bit weird to start going back to 60s stories and putting new special effects in there. There weren't that many kind of laser beams and things like that, were there? I've just skimmed over the surface, really, of the special features there, uh, but I think the thing I'm most interested in is the overview of season two, followed closely by the uh, documentary about 1960s collectibles. How about you? What are you most excited about in the special features department? Now, at the start of this video, I promise to tell you what my favorite cereal from season two happens to be. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. It's the chase. Yes, and for some reason I always tend to remember it as having 10 episodes, partly because it might feel like it has 10 episodes but I've always loved The Chase. I mean, this is partly because of my love of mechanoids, but I also really like the epic and deliberately episodic nature of The Chase. You know, once you kind of get into the story, each week takes place in a different location. You know, Dracula's castle, the top of the Empire State Building. It's such linear storytelling, but it's so much fun. It's just great fun. You know, I even like the Doctor's evil twin, and I think it's quite weird and a bit creepy that his evil twin looks nothing like him or looks like a shifted version of him. <laughs> And then the final battle with the mechanoids, I think is awesome. It's so well done. What's your favorite cereal in season two? Get down in comments and for goodness sake, let me know. If you really enjoy this channel, then consider becoming a channel member. It would really help the channel improve and grow. And it would certainly help me out as well at the moment. If you wanna see the different options, the different tiers, then press the join button down beneath this video to have a look, or you'll find a link in the video description. As you're clearly into the collection series, you will want to have a look at my playlist of Doctor Who the Collection unboxing videos right here. I think you'll, you'll get stuck into that lot and have a whale of a time. Or you can have a look at this video here, which is what YouTube thinks you might fancy see watching next. All hail the algorithm. I look forward to chatting with you in comments and until the next video then, don't forget to embrace your obsession.